Hi YouTube, welcome back to WTFRC Cars. So, continuing on with the Cabalite Excavator, I'm going to show you how to fit some of the accessories. So we've got the Ripper, the Quick Release, and I'm going to show you what you need to do to get these on and how easy it is to switch between them. Um, and then I think I'll save the other attachments for another video because they have to walk into the electrics and you have to have the transmitter set right to activate them. So on this video, we're just going to cover the quick release and the ripper and the bucket and show you how to set these up. So let's bring in for a close up look, see how we get on with this one. Right, so for this, you're going to need your little tool. You're going to need two bags of these bits. Because one we've already got on the actual bucket itself. We're going to need as ripper and as quick disconnect and the actual excavator itself. So if we power his transmitter on, and then we power on our excavator, and it's just going to make your life easier if you can position these where you can get to them. So once we've got it in position, we can drop off as power. Then we're going to have to undo these collars. So you do need to remove these because they go into a little hole. But you should only need to take one side off. And as you'll see from some of the scuff marks on the uh, actual bucket, I've been having a bit of fun with this, getting used to how we manoeuvre with it. And I must admit, so far, it's it's been pretty enjoyable. I uh, initially went out for a five-minute test and ended up being out there well over half hour. So first off, with these little collars and pins, they're a little bit fiddly, but you should be able to remove it. And then we've just got to work the second one out. And if you just twist it, they do come out. This should get easier over time. So now we can put them back in. And you may as well keep your original ones with the bucket. So once we get them back in, we're going to need to slide his collars over. You're going to need to make sure they're lined up with the hole. And then you're just going to screw these down. So again with this one, make sure it's lined up. And then just get them held down. And as you can see, it's getting a bit scuffed up. Looks a bit more like a uh, real excavator. Then we're going to need to open one of our sets of pins. And for this, we're going to have to assemble it. So we're going to want to line each one of these up. And then drop one of our little retaining nuts through it. once we've got one in we can then come back if you just get it started off and line it up you want the little hook facing forward so we can get one in and I must admit I'm uh, quite surprised at how easy these are to actually line up probably uh, famous last words but up to now, they've all gone in really easy. So if you just manoeuvre it around a little, you should be able to get them in. And we're going to want a collar on each one. Okay. 
and this will give you the base of which you can swap all your attachments over from these definitely are fiddly little things so once this is on there nice and tight we should then have the actual quick release and if you pull the tiny little tab on the back you see this front bit comes down so then when you want to fit you can pull it down and just snap it into place it's a little bit fiddly doing this and trying not to be in the way on the camera but basically if you pull it back just let it snap into place you can put this either way around and in this packet we do have one extra little bolt so next we're just going to do exactly the same and we're going to get the one for the ripper prepared so we're just going to have to make up two to start off with i must admit these are far less fiddly than i actually thought they would be so when you're preparing a tool to be used with the quick disconnect we just need to fit the two bars so you've actually got something to attach to and i'm quite surprised these are quite a snug fit they're not awkward to fit but they definitely go together and they fit very purposefully so once we've got that in place we should then be able to pull as quick release if you fit it from the back and then just drop it in then we got that in place and if for whatever reason you wanted to fit it other way around <laughs> you can do but you do get a spare little bolt with each one of these so i would keep them in a little packet together keep them all safe then if we power back up and i am going to do quite a few videos on this transmitter because there's a few of the settings that i wasn't really happy with to start with um one of them being the timer the as you can see, we've got full articulation still, and even all the way out, it doesn't quite hit. So we've still got all this movement. And I am quite impressed at how controllable this is. I best stop that before I end up knocking all my screwdrivers all over. But yeah, quite impressed. Um, when you're changing it, just bear in mind you've got to get your fingers in there. So make sure you leave whichever way you're going to fit your attachments just make sure you don't bring this all the way up because it's going to be uh, a little bit awkward to try and get your fingers in there it does alter where the bucket comes to so if you're going to bring it all the way up it will now hit because you've got this extra sort of space moving it out but I guess in the same way it probably means you've got an extra half inch of reach and I'm determined to knock them screwdrivers flying <laughs> just a quick guide on how to get the quick release working and how to build it up and I was just curious to see if you could actually fit the attachments the opposite way around which it does look it does look like you will be able to do that um, massive massive convenience um, just being able to switch these out in seconds 
and I do know you can get an electronically activated one of these. It doesn't look quite as solid as this. This is the Cabalite one. It's made the same as the rest of the actual excavator and the ripper. I've seen some of these in much thinner sort of stainless steel and I've seen one in uh, machined aluminium and you do run an extra wire up all the way over and back to your actual receiver. Completely up to you whether you think that's necessary or not but I think the way that these work you're still you've got the same action but you're still gonna have to come and put these on even if you want to really practice your skills and have it so your electronic release and then try and pick the bucket up the rest of the tools are very rarely ever gonna lay perfect so the chances are you're still going to be coming to the front of your excavator and you're still going to be putting the actual tool in place. So whether or not it's better for you to have that action electronic or not, um, totally up to you. Try not to knock my mirrors off all the time. But yeah, that's the little excavator and the uh, quick release attachment. I do quite like it, um, the ripper is going to be a fun little thing to play around with, but yeah, it's quite a, uh, quite a nice entertaining little thing so far, this, uh, this excavator, um, didn't think initially how we're going to have this much fun with it, but yeah, just a quick little video on how to set up the quick release, release attachments, so let's wrap this one up. So there you have it, quick video on how to set up the uh, ripper and the quick release attachment for the little Cabalite uh, excavator. I think this one is the K, is it 961-100S? But yeah, I'm going to put this thing down now because it weighs a ton. But yeah, hopefully you find that useful, entertaining or just like listening to my incessant ramblings. But don't forget to like and subscribe, hit the notification bell, share to friends and family, and uh, catch you guys again in the next one.